Today we're test driving the all new Hyundai Kona EV. As you just saw, we had just charged up our Kona EV and now we're at 100% charge. What we're going to be doing is we'll be driving this over the next six days and see how many kilometers we complete. But as you can see over here, we have 469 kilometers of range left. I've just reset my trip meter, which is why it reads zero. We're going to be driving this over the next six days and see how many kilometers we complete. And after that, we'll do some calculations to see how much it would cost us to run the Kona EV. We're almost out of battery here and our warning reads charge immediately, power limited. We have a remaining battery range of five kilometers and so far we've driven a total of 480 kilometers. My driving conditions have been pretty basic. I haven't had the air conditioning or the heating on at all, but I have had the sound system on the whole time. Also worth mentioning is I did around 60% of my driving in the city and 40% on the highway, just to give you an idea of how I got the numbers that I did. So let's take the 480 kilometers that we've driven so far and add the five kilometers of range so 480 kilometers plus 5 kilometers of range left gives us 485 kilometers. That means based on our driving, you can expect 485 kilometers of real world driving range. Now let's see how much it would cost us to charge the Kona EV from an empty battery to a full battery. We know that the Kona EV's battery capacity is 64 kilowatt hours. We also know our local hydro rates are 12 cents per kilowatt hour. So what we'll do is we'll take the 64 kilowatt hour battery capacity and multiply it by 12 cents per kilowatt hour, which is our local hydro rates. So 64 kilowatt hours multiplied by 12 cents per kilowatt hour gives us $7.68 Canadian. That means a full charge on the Kona EV would cost us $7.68. That also means that for the $7.68, we are able to drive 486 kilometers or 302 miles. Now let's calculate how many kilometers we can expect on every kilowatt hour. To do that, we'll take the 485 kilometers of driving range and divide it by 64 kilowatt hours, which is the battery capacity of the Kona EV. So 485 kilometers divided by 64 kilowatt hours gives us 7.6 kilometers per kilowatt hour. That means on every kilowatt hour, you can expect 7.6 kilometers of driving. And finally, let's calculate how much each kilometer would cost us in the Kona EV. And we'll do that by taking the 485 kilometers of driving range and dividing it by the $7.68 that we spent charging it up. So 485 kilometers divided by $7.68 gives us 0 0.015 per kilometer. That means every kilometer in the Kona EV costs us 1.5 cents. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great fuel economy content. You can also watch our fuel economy reviews on other EVs such as the Chevrolet Bolt, the Chevrolet Volt, and the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV on our channel.